Hey everyone, from I Speak My Mind, I wanted to talk about the environmental emphasis that <clears throat> car companies are putting on um, with electric vehicles in 2021. <clears throat> For example, the Ford Bronco came out with an electric vehicle and uh, as well as other cars. So this is going to be an option that consumers face when purchasing new cars, if they're looking for it. Um, the reason I bring this up is because I found this article on the New York Times about um, the average cost per month of gas-powered vehicles versus diesel, hybrid, and plug-in, and then electric cars. And it was found that electric cars were actually the cheapest in the long term per month, and they had the lowest emissions by far. For example, the Toyota Sequoia was just under $750 a month on average to take care of. and. Uh, <clears throat> There was just under 800 grams, sorry, just over 800 grams uh, of carbon dioxide emission per mile, whereas the Nissan Leaf on the lower end of the spectrum for electric cars was uh, just under 200, um, and it's $300 a month to take care of. So opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, it's a lot cheaper to have the Nissan Leaf and it's better for the environment. Obviously, there's other options as well. Uh, Tesla's been coming out with electric cars for a while. And um, yeah, so it's going to be an option that consumers are facing. It also depends on if they need a new car right now, uh, if they can afford something that expensive. And looking to the future, uh, Joe Biden has said that he's looking to um, make some sort of transaction possible where you can bring your gas powered car in and uh, swap it with uh, an electric car, or maybe put down some money and then you'd be able to get the electric car. So as we all look to try to help the environment, this is gonna be something that, um, that we're facing.